Yeah, Joachim Nielsen comes in alongside Tim Parker in front of Roman Berkey, one of the best in MLS this season. We'll put this in perspective. Reed Baker, Whiting, and Josh Atencio, two homegrown products, are in the starting 11. And still, when you think about what LAFC did in 2018, 57 points, an opportunity for another record here for the expansion side this evening with a win against Seattle South. St. Louis City score a lot on set pieces. They've had three corner kicks and now a free kick. AZ Jackson again, the unlikely set piece target, especially on the aerial balls, but he's done well. Set piece opportunity. He's in an onside position. He's just looking for a slight redirect. He gets it on frame. Guys, experienced guys, it's pretty incredible what they've done, but also given them a really specific identity. Play on. Christian Roldan cuts it all the way across. Gibbs out his brother, Rusnak! Albert Rusnak in the 23rd minute. His fifth of the season and maybe the biggest for the Sounders in 2023 as it stands. They move up to second place in the West. one nothing against St. Louis. As the ball's played wide, who is it? None other than Christian Roldan. Perfectly weighted. Albert Rusnak opens up the hips just passes it and caresses it with the inside of the left foot as the recovering Roman Berkey goes to ground. Full stretch to his right hand side. Seattle, huge goal on the road here at City Park. Leuven, Klaus, I mean he was there, just didn't have the head in the right position. Markenic, Blum, oh, right on target. Fry had to volleyball react in front of him and rightly so Markanik as the ball comes in the initial touch on the clearance and he just kind of comes through look at the technique he kind of just leaves his leg out there and that creates not only the with that skill set just active Reed Baker Whiting getting some feelers for some European clubs back to Baker Whiting from Chu it's deflected it's in all the way up from left back and he gets his first goal. The buildup down the left-hand side, we're just singing the praises of this young man getting the start with Nuhu's return from Cameroon. Simple underlap as the ball comes in, takes a touch off of recovering and tackling Tim Parker. Baker Whiting, 18-year-old homegrown product, sixth start of the season, tries to put it back across the frame, comes off the exposed left cleat of Tim Parker as he goes to ground. Nothing Berkey can do about it. Seattle up 2-0 here in the 38th minute. Just to close the book on Blum as the Sounders push forward. He was on many accounts the man of the match in their victory over Eswatini. Chu all the way through. Chance for Seattle's third off the post. Off the base of it. Still there for the Sounders. Jao Paulo. Any good center back will recognize the moment that your goalkeeper gets isolated. Can you collapse? Can you recover? Chu does a good job with the less preferred right foot, but it's the inside of that left foot from Tim Parker. Stroud uprooted by Jao Paulo. Comes back out for Stroud. Jokini facing goal. Has numbers on both sides. Stroud! Jackson! <laughs> Stefan Fry has made three excellent saves tonight. Whoever's going to win this midfield battle, challenge for the first balls, more importantly, win the second. Those were going to be big, big moments for either of these teams in the attacking phase of play and who they're concerned about at this stage of the season. But when you look at that bench for Brian Spencer, up 2-0. Jackson, immediate shot. And Fry sees it hit part of the woodwork player that's also still available for the U.S. under 23s Harbor and hopes to be on that plane to Paris for the Olympics and he just kisses that upper crossbar unable to pick out the spider webs underneath but he picks out that corner Atencio and Ariaga may play a role he has with the Sounders in years past certainly 2019 as Christian Roldan hits it perky cool as you like uh. Well, Christian Roldan, he's been all over the place today for the Seattle Sounders in such an integral piece of the puzzle. And he we mentioned the rotated squad against Vancouver 17 days ago. Ben Lunt was one of them, played in goal. First and only time he hasn't played, speaking of Berkey. Giochini, he was in a blender. Penalty. João Paulo irate. Oh, all of a sudden changes the mentality. It's not a lot there for me. 
There's can they, can they there. switch it? Can I mean, they adjust the call? Yeah, look at the turn. I mean, there's contact, no. but not. that's not mm. a penalty for me. Give credit to Giacchini. He's doing everything in his power. <laughs> no, nah, man, it's 100% a penalty. No, nah, what are you talking about? Edwin Yurisevich is going to say to Jair Marufo, he thinks he needs to head over to the monitor and have another look. I mean, there's a touch of the right foot, but the landing gear pops up from Giacchini. If St. Louis get the penalty, they are five for five this season. A quick look for Jair Marufo. No penalty. That is the right call. Great officiating by this crew. Remaining competitive. Leuven into the wall. Reagan heads it out. Markanek. Again, he's just a mentality monster in goal that you would want in a must-win type of game. Going into the playoffs, big game Bob situation. That's that's Stefan Fry. Right now they're in second. The worst they could do is third. So they've done their part. Up and over by Nico Lodero. Look at these guys you can bring off the bench if you're in Seattle too. Well, I mean, think about it. Against bench that he's ever had. I mean, talk about the depth. Full stretch up and over, pushing it past the crossbar. Listen, Nico Lodero is still a special, special player. Special player. Which is probably more accurate to the amount of stoppage time you accrue in a half. Full-time whistle from Jair Marufo. Seattle come and hang the fourth home yeah, loss to St. Louis City. Keep an eye on Klaus right now.